Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European indices. End of day, the Thursday, the 14th of July, 2016. Okay, let's see exactly what's happening here, folks. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. And you can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, market data, let's look at the actual stats uh, in terms of finishing today. Let's just drag them across here. Okay, so we certainly see the U.S. markets certainly in the green. Uh, the uh, European markets were well, majority of them are in the green with the European, with the DAX, CAC, and Europe, uh, and Euro stocks are certainly higher. But the FTSE 100 certainly lagging or certainly turned weak post uh, the BOE failing to uh, potentially uh, cut rates or do any uh, certainly please the uh, the actual. Um, <clears throat> QE crowd with additional rate cuts of QE. Okay, so again, certainly a disappointment there following the Shanghai. Shanghai certainly negative overnight. The Nikkei, the Hang Seng, certainly weak. Okay, or should we say coming into resistance, should I say? Okay, so again, uh, a session in the U European. Certainly, my understanding and my reading is that you are certainly exhausted. One of the, the most important points in terms of Asian session, let's just bring this up. First of all, is the Nikkei and the USDJPY. So allow me to show you the chart of the Nikkei. The Nikkei daily chart now is approaching the gap fill at 16,600. Uh, after hours, the market currently trading around the 16. I think the pivot high we reached at one point was uh, was 16,600. Okay, it's currently trading at 16,555. Okay, or 550. So again, indicating resistance, indicating risk off. Okay, and looking for a move lower. Okay, so Nikkei certainly into resistance. Not only is the Nikkei into resistance, if you look at the chart USDJPY as well. And you can see that previous support equals resistance on the USDJPY, thereby indicating risk aversion as well. So certainly two arguments here for risk off, okay, in terms of the markets. Uh, and again, looking for weakness on the yen being in support and obviously the uh, Nikkei being into resistance. The Shanghai also into its 200 MA and daily chart resistance as well, putting in a potential uh, topping tail or shall we say uh, hanging man candle, again indicating resistance and looking for a potential move lower. Okay, so again, looking for European markets to follow follow as well. In terms of European markets, let's look at the economic data that came out today. Really, it was nothing of real importance, to be honest with you, in terms of any major market moving news other than obviously the BOE. So really, it was all about the BOE and BOE dictating, okay, with regards to the uh, potential market direction. And that's really uh, what the focus was on, okay, so... Uh, in terms of data today, you had nothing from the European session. In terms of US, yes, the US market was quite important in the sense that we had producer prices strong and expected, initial jobless claims, continuous jobless claims, all coming out on the stronger side. Also, we had Mr. Lockhart now as well, certainly hawkish. So indicating a stronger dollar, a weaker uh, Aussie, Euro, that's basically what's expected, a Kiwi as well. And you are looking at the price of oil now as well being into resistance, looking at the weakness. Uh, in global growth concerns, excess supply, etc. So you are now coming into resistance here, folks. And it's still uh, an inside bar uh, at present. So again, there is room for 43. $43 to potentially be hit. Okay, so can keep an eye on that. In terms of copper as well, certainly languishing, no real move higher, uh, holding resistance here on, on copper. Uh, and again, Mr. Lockhart's comments will certainly feed through and uh, may well dictate a bearish bias so certainly take that into consideration as well okay now okay so in terms of technical picture now let's see exactly what the technical backdrop is and then we can certainly go from there in terms of the markets okay so technical backdrop at present let's start with the Europe 350 S&P Europe 350 daily chart you're you certainly are uh, in holding previous support equals resistance you're in a zone you're between the 61 to 75 percent resistance zone okay so all eyes on that resistance zone, 61 to 75%, and looking for weakness basically. Okay, so again, Euro stocks 350 into resistance and looking for weakness. Okay, so in terms of the German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX for you. So the daily chart, the German DAX, you're into that uh, FIB 75% uh, resistance and into the 200 MA. So again, indicating weakness, looking for a reversal. Uh, you had a bottoming tail in today, certainly a, an early sign of weakness. You're certainly holding previous support equals resistance as well. You have an unfilled gap below. 
So again, looking to close that gap. You have an intraday double top here on the German DAX. The unfilled gap being 9930, and we're certainly looking to potentially close that as well. Okay. In terms of the MDAX, again, you can certainly see a potential pivot top on the MDAX. Again, looking for weakness, looking for that gap to potentially close below. So certainly looking for weakness in the uh, the actual uh, European markets, and therefore looking to move lower. Looking at the tech all share as well, same concept here. You had a doji indicating weakness, indicating a potential move lower. Okay, folks, everything is indicating lower. Okay. So German DAX, certainly conclusion there that we're going lower. Uh, looking at the CAC volatility index, he certainly had a bottoming tail today. A doji candle indicating fear is now on the increase. Looking at the Euro stocks volatility index, certainly a green candle was put in again, indicating support for fear. Okay, so fear index certainly on the increase and looking for a risk aversion trade. Okay, in terms of the the French CAC now, CAC mid 60 into 200 MA into its FIB 75% resistance. Again, looking for risk off, CAC mid and small, same context concept here. Okay. Also, with regards to the CAC as well, so it looks top heavy. Again, you have an unfilled gap below at 44335. Again, that looks like it will be more than likely the target. Uh, we did actually exceed 75%. Okay. So, again, bear that in mind, but we're still unable to potentially close the gap above. So again, looking for risk aversion. Previous support equals resistance on the French CAC. This is quite an important area. So again, looking for resistance. And the 10-minute chart certainly clear, clarifies where the next move will be. And that's certainly lower to potentially gap fill. Okay. So again, indicating risk aversion. Okay, folks. Indicating risk aversion. Important under concept to understand here. Okay. Indicating risk aversion. Okay. So let's have a look at exactly what's happening in this market and so uh, the french CAC certainly indicates weakness and looking for a potential move lower in terms of the FTSE 250 just to clarify you certainly are holding fib 75 percent you're holding that uh, 200 ma resistance indicating the FTSE 100 needs to move lower you clearly have a topping tail on the FTSE 100 so the FTSE 100 certainly wants to move lower back down to that 6400 6500 level so therefore looking at risk off you have a clear hns formation that's in in play your pivot high this is important to know your pivot high your hns okay your hns target is your pivot high at 6740 minus the neckline the neckline is currently seen at uh, 6660 okay so you've got 6740 6660 you've got an 80 point move okay so you're looking at 80 point move below so you're looking at 6580 below and that's your target on the downside. So 6580 looking to move lower and looking for 6580 below 6610 to 6580 uh, again is previous support equals resistance and you also have previous support equals resistance at 6610. So again, looking for downside movement. Okay, looking for weakness. That's basically what we're looking for. Okay, in terms of um, the uh, euro stocks now, or I can bring up stock 600 for you as well. Certainly looks over exhausted, looking for a flush here, top heavy. Okay, so everything is indicated lower, looking for gap fill below. So Euro stock 660, uh, stock 600 certainly indicating weakness. Okay, moving on to the Euro stocks, the last uh, indices again looks very top heavy in the 60 minute chart. The daily chart certainly clarifies that you are into previous horizontal resistance, previous support equals resistance into FIB 75%, looking for a reversal, looking for a move lower. Certainly looking top heavy on the 60 minute chart, which I explained. 10 minute chart again, you didn't actually move to new highs. Okay, so again, certainly needs to be respected, but certainly looks top heavy. Okay, certainly looks top heavy. You have a mini HS formation here. So your left shoulder was put in here. You're looking at the head, then right shoulder, and then obviously looking to move lower. Previous support equals resist or previous resistance equals support at 2940. And then you have gap fill at uh, 2925 as well, and then horizontal support at 2920. So these are the zones that we're looking at for potential support. Okay. So again, looking for weakness, looking for a move lower. Okay. So certainly a risk off or risk aversion mode is, is in play and looking for weakness. Okay, folks. That's the situation at present. So again, looking for weakness on the European stocks. So that certainly is a summation. Be sure to visit CFDs.com uh, for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus. And we are now into risk off mode and looking for further downside. Goodbye now.